Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step 19 of the SAP UI5 walkthrough series documentation. Step 19 talks about aggregation binding. Till now, we have uh, established a good structure for our SAP UI5 sample application. And now we will add more functionality to it. We'll start exploring more features of data binding. And we will add some invoice data in the JSON format. And we will display that in our UI5 application. As a preview to our application in this step, you can see that we will be displaying a list of invoices on the screen. Coming to the code changes which are required for this step, first of all, we'll have an invoices.json file. This is a new file which we'll have in our application for step 19. And in this file, we'll have our data in JSON format. It basically consists of a list of invoices which we want to display on our UI5 application. This data in the JSON format will be used as a data source for our SAP UI5 application and we'll bind this JSON data to the controls of our UI5 application. Next, in our manifest.json file, we'll introduce a new model with the name invoice. This is a named JSON model which we'll introduce here. Therefore, the type of this model is sap.ui.model.json.json model because we want a JSON model to be instantiated here. And uh, in the URI property, we provide the name of our JSON file. This basically is the path to our invoices.json file with respect to our component. With this configuration, our component will automatically instantiate this model. And this model will then be available throughout our application. And a point to note here that this is a named model and we have provided a name invoice for this. For displaying, the invoices, we will create a new view and we embed that view in our app.view.xml file. And the new view name is invoice list. This is our invoice list.view.xml file. We can see here that we are making use of a list control to display the list of invoices. And we provide a custom text here in the header text property of our list. Then we bind the items property of this list control to the list of invoices which we have from our JSON model. You can see here that invoice is our JSON model name which we have specified in the manifest.json file. And these items are bound to the root path invoices of our JSON model. So if we have a look at our invoices.json file, we can see that the root path invoices points to this particular property. And uh, we have bound our items to the root path invoices of our JSON model. In the items aggregation, we provide a template which will be repeated for each and every item of our invoice list. So for each item in the list, we provide an object list item control and we assign a title for our object list item. So basically for each and every invoice, we will have a title and the title will basically have this particular description. The title is basically bound to the properties of a single invoice. So you can see here, because we are using a named model invoice, therefore we provide this model name here. And then we refer to the property which we want to include in our title. So we are making use of the quantity property and the product name property. And our title will be a combination of these two properties. So you can see here that our items aggregation, we have bound it to the invoices, which is basically the root path of our JSON file and the individual list item, we are preparing the title by combining the quantity and the product name property of each item from our JSON file. So this is how we are making use of the invoices.json file, which basically provides as a data source for our application. Now, if we run the application, this is how the application would look like. You can see that we are displaying the list of invoices here. And this data is coming from this particular JSON file, which is bound to the list control in our invoice list.view file. So here we are making use of aggregation binding, which basically is happening for all the items of our list control, which is bound to all the invoices present in our JSON file. And for the individual items, we are making use of the object list item control. And the title property of this object list item control, we are binding it 
by making use of the quantity and product name property of individual items from, from our invoice list. So that is it for this video for step 19. In the next step, we will get introduced to data types in step number 20. Till then, thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.